Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video. We're going to have a look at the ECMDF uh, 30 day ensembles for today's uh, first video. So we're looking at temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next month for the UK and for Europe as well. We're at the Hungarian Met Office uh, for this update. So a big thank you to the Hungarian Met Office uh, for supplying us with the uh, data. Uh, so coming up later on today, we'll have a look at the weather for next week, 10 days, your regular week, 10 day video update. And then this evening, we're going to have the snow watch. We'll be updating snow watch uh, this evening. There's a risk of snow, perhaps significant snow for some of us um, today, sort of late this afternoon into this evening. There will also be cold rain, though, with that. So uh, there'll be a few people getting a, get a real surprise. There'll be other people coming away very disappointed. And then it looks like we can have another bout of snow Thursday through to Friday. Uh, the exact position of that, though, is uh, quite uncertain. But anyway, more about all of this in Snow Watch uh, this evening. But starting us off for our updates today uh, is the ECMDF 30-day uh, lookout. So we're going to start off with the uh, week one or week five for 2019 temperature anomaly for Europe. So this is how the ECMDF is looking for the uh, week from uh, the 28th of January through to the 3rd of February. We're looking at substantially milder or warmer than average conditions over on the eastern side of Europe. So uh, going up from Greece and Turkey down here. Right way up through the Black Sea, just there to the uh, Russian border and into western parts of Russia, we find temperature anomalies are coming out significantly above average. So it's a very mild sink over in the east and the southeast of Europe. The north and west of Europe, though, much colder. Look at this. Over Scandinavia, temperature anomalies are kind of like uh, 6 to 10 degrees below average. So um, one or two places going actually underneath 10 degrees below average. So a very cold temperature anomaly across particularly northern parts of Scandinavia, sort of the north of Norway, over, <coughs> excuse me, over into Finland and some parts of northern Sweden looking very, very cold indeed these colder than average temperature anomalies into the uk and ireland as well we're three to six degrees below average in the weekend so it is going to be a cold week uh coming up through france germany below countries and of course denmark which is part of scandinavia but it's down there in uh, in the south uh, to, towards the north of germany um for those areas it isn't quite as cold but it is still generally colder than average particularly the further north and west that you happen uh, to go but interestingly it's a very very far northwest of europe that uh, is coldest at the moment down through the mediterranean spain and portugal a bit of a mixed bag so it's varying from area to area probably close to average you're into the central bowl of the mediterranean rather cool there too from italy eastwards into the southeastern corner it's generally uh, above average with those temperature anomalies Precipitation anomalies in the uh, week ahead, going from the 28th of January to the 3rd of February, are looking at, uh, again, very dry conditions in this far northwestern corner where it's coldest, it's also driest. Uh, although some parts of Scandinavia with above average precipitation, of course, that's all going to be snow, uh, very snowy sea there across parts of Sweden going over the Baltic Sea up towards Finland. And uh, those areas can expect a lot of snow in the week ahead. Looking quite wet down across uh, France, so above average rainfall there, probably snow mixed in for some parts of particularly northern France, I would have thought. And it's quite an unsettled scene through the May too, so much of Spain and Portugal coming out wetter than average. Um, it varies from area to area in the Med, so around the holiday islands of uh, Mallorca, Menorca and Ibiza, it's a little bit drier than average, but Corsica and Sardinia are wetter than average, as is most of Italy. Balkans also looking very wet, and then this eastern to southeastern part is probably relatively dry. So obviously there's some sort of ridge in the southeast of Europe and in the east of Europe that's uh, bringing up milder but also drier conditions. Week uh, two temperature anomalies, week six of 2019, look like that. So still this east-west split is going on. We've got a divide through the central parts of the east and into the southeast. Again, largely above average, significantly above average around the Black Sea. Mild and average going towards the Balkans and then down into uh, Romania and then further southwards into Greece. Those areas are looking uh, much milder 
than our British milder conditions also extend up towards the northeast of Europe, so Ukraine, and then going up towards the Russian border, looking uh, quite a mile there. Out in the west, it's colder, colder than average. It isn't as cold as it is in week one, but still below average temperature anomalies for a large portion of Scandinavia, still below average for the UK and Ireland, most of France, Spain, Portugal, uh, most of France, low countries and Germany, I should say, a little bit colder than average. Spain and Portugal actually close to average, and in this central bowl of Mediterranean again, it is largely uh, cooler than average. So again, it is quite a cold scene in the northwest, so milder scene in the southeast, although it isn't as cold in week two in the north and west of Europe. Precipitation anomalies are looking like this from the 4th to the 10th of uh, February. So, again, quite dry across many northern and central parts. Scandinavia looks drier than average. Most parts of uh, Germany, Poland, over towards Ukraine, it's drier than average there. Down towards uh, France, Belgium, Holland, largely drier than average. And uh, a little bit drier than average, Spain, Portugal as well. Uh, the southeast of Europe looks quite unsettled, so from Italy over towards Greece, uh, above average rainfall there, probably increasing risk of thunderstorms. But the UK and for Ireland, close to average, really, still a little bit wetter than average, or it's a bit wetter than average for parts of Ireland, still a bit drier than average for northern parts of Scotland, but not a big deviation. The precipitation does look close to average in that uh, week two period. And then we go through to week three, and we see a change on what the ECM has been showing for quite some time. So this is week seven for 2019. It's week three for our forecast period. It's taking us from the 11th to the 17th of February. And uh, all of a sudden, we're going a little bit milder than average now in the northwest of Europe. So it is shaping up to be a milder week now, this middle part of uh, February. So Scandinavia, actually, we get some milder than average temperature anomalies appearing through uh, places like uh, uh, Norway and Sweden. And close to the UK as well, and across Ireland, it's a little bit milder than average. Close to the UK, again, it's average, not a big deviation, but it's certainly milder uh, than has been the case up to this point for the past couple of weeks and it's milder than what the ECMF has been showing for quite some time in this in this northwestern uh, corner of Europe so uh, it goes a little bit milder in the northwest most other areas see the temperature anomaly going to average you'll notice we're losing these milder than average temperature anomalies in the southeast so it looks like a bit of a pattern change is going on there it's turning milder in the northwest. It's turning colder, not cold yet, but it is turning colder in that southeastern corner. And that leaves most parts of Europe just coming out with average temperature anomalies or possibly even no signal. For precipitation from the 11th to the 17th of February, drier than average in this western and northwestern part of Europe. So I assume what's going on is that the, the blocking that we've had to the north, the blocking is then starting to push southwards and it's starting to form a sort of a mid-latitude high, probably somewhere close to uh, the UK or maybe down towards France. And that's starting to pull up milder air from off the Atlantic. So it's milder, but it's quite dry in that western corner uh, of Europe in the, in the northwest. Most other parts of Europe close to average with precipitation. Again, not a great signal, possibly a bit unsettled in this southeastern corner. And then we move through to uh, week four. It's week eight for 2019. Week four for our forecast period takes us from the 18th to the 24th of, uh, of uh, February. Another change in that we lose those mild and average temperature anomalies in the north and west. It's actually going colder than average again across Scandinavia. And most other areas just with average uh, temperature anomalies at this point. So signs that it's turning colder again in the north of Europe. Um, been inconclusive for the UK and Ireland. But we seem to be having the same sort of temperature anomalies at, at the moment that they're having in Scandinavia. So if it's turning cold again across Scandinavia, I would suspect it's likely to be turning cold again for the UK and Ireland. Of course, not as cold as it would be in Scandinavia because they're much further north. Um, but the trend from milder to from colder to milder and then back from uh, milder to colder again, uh, that trend does seem to be 
be uh, both for Scandinavia and the UK and Ireland generally this winter. So I suspect we're probably going colder again here from the 18th to the 24th of February. Um, but away from that northern part of uh, Europe, so from Scandinavia over towards Western Russia, again, not a particularly strong signal with uh, temperature anomalies in week four. Precipitation anomalies look like that. Signs that the northern blocking is beginning to reconvene, perhaps, to the north. So going dry up an average from sort of Iceland, Greenland, which is over there, to Scandinavia there. So signs of high pressure returning to uh, the northern latitudes. Bit dry up an average. Otherwise, again, very weak signals in week four. For our forecast period, the 18th to 24th of February, not a particularly strong signal. So I have got a bit of a change here. We're starting off, as we know, cold, and we're going to be keeping it cold for uh, certainly this week, probably still a little bit cold on average next week. Mid-February might see a return to something a bit milder for a while, and then I think the signals are there, but as we go into the second half of February, probably looking at a return to blocked conditions to the north, probably going colder again as we go into the second half of the month. So we do get that milder interlude before it probably turns colder uh, again in the north uh, in the north and west of Europe as we go into the second half of February um, but I think the ECM along with all the other long range models performing quite poorly uh, this winter so I think we just wait and see how this plays out over uh, the next few days within the model output uh, even next week there seems to be a huge amount of uncertainty about uh, the westerlies returning and whether it will get mild and we'll have more about that in today's second video update right so that's the ecm day 30 day update done and dusted for you we'll be back later on this afternoon having a look at the weather for the next week 10 days and then this evening updating snow watch that's all for now and thanks for watching